Style Bender, Israel Adesanya, and John Jones. All right, so here he is, UFC light heavyweight champion times two. Future Hall of Famer, a man you know as well as anyone, DC, Johnny Bones Jones. John Jones is one of those talents that when you see him for the first time, you understand that he is something special. He has a very strong mind, unbelievable skill set, and an ability to rise to the occasion. He did it from the moment he first stepped foot in the octagon as a very young fighter to his long championship reign. Some of the victims on John Jones' resume is unbelievable to have beaten that many UFC champions over the course of his career. John Jones truly is one of the greatest martial artists of all time. Skill for skill, one of the best fighters you will ever see, and very loyal when it comes to his team. He has been with Mike Winkle, John, and Greg Jackson since day one. John Jones trying to add to arguably the greatest mixed martial arts legacy the sport has ever seen here and now tonight. Well, you just never know when the next UFC superstar is going to emerge. I submit to you the UFC's interim middleweight champion, Israel Adesanya, only made his UFC debut in February of 2018. And it's an understatement to say he has taken this sport by storm. It's an understatement, a massive understatement. For a long time, I had heard about Israel Adesanya before he even got to the UFC, but did not know what to expect. I did not expect such a versatile skill set, an ability to stay upright, yeah. an ability to deal with the pressure of wrestling, an ability to stay the course whenever things aren't going necessarily as you planned. He was just wise beyond his time in the octagon from the moment he got there. And I think that's because he chose the exact right time yes. to come to the UFC. Right, he didn't force it. He has become a sensation overnight. And most people believe when it comes to Israel Adesanya, the best is yet to come. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. Now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter, only a professional record of. 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And now introducing his opponent, fighting. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 20 wins, no losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Israel, the last style bender, Adesanya. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. Ready? Level 
Triple change now. He went single into a high crotch. Oh, he's taking his dude for a ride. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the bottom. I mean, right there. Bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> it's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Israel Adesanya gets up. He is back on the feet here. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. strikes have landed for John Jones. And both guys really... You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing so and talk to your tough. Oh! Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. It's such a fast leg kick. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storch. Jones's lower jaw now starting to show signs of slowing. Telestrator for the champ tonight, but that's okay. He'll still talk you through the replays. Body kicks for days, man. I mean, body kicks for days, but I gotta be honest, John. If we don't incorporate a Telestrator <laughs> into this game, this may be my only version of EA UFC. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Ready? A high number Ready? of kicks landed there in the previous round, and at some point, these are gonna really start to take their turn. They do start taking effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick, and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab is the work. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high crotch. Oh, takes oh, the ride. Slams him on his back. What a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong end of that? Not, I mean, honestly, I'm never, <laughs> I I'm never heard. <laughs> Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Well, any time you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. 72 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. And striking at... Oh! He's a drop. He's a drop. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Ooh. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jet. Some nice back and forth action here. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in the... Oh! 
Gets up again here, but hurt his man. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. Oh, oh, he's got finished up. So have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest. At three minutes, 51 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's gonna be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.